Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, I am doing a reading and energy update for our beautiful collective here. You guys know I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday collective readings at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but lately because of the intensity of the energy that's been coming through, I have been doing what I've been calling these mini reading videos between those collective readings. So this will be one of those. And of course, if you are connecting with the energy here, I do invite you to join me in the Monday, Wednesday, Friday collective readings as well. Those are really powerful readings because they also are premiered live, which means there is a live chat going in our beautiful community during the premiere of the reading. And it is just a really powerful, energetic space that we co-create together. So with that being said, I am starting by pulling a few messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle. While I'm shuffling, if you would like to manifest a specific message from the reading, I do recommend liking the video and subscribing to the channel as this does tie your energy more strongly in with this collective and this allows me to channel more specifically for you both here in future videos and in, of course, this specific reading as well. Now, I have to say right away that a message I was picking up as a download prior to starting this reading is that you, Divine Feminine Listening, whoever I'm speaking to here, I feel that you are someone who is truly attracted to energy. You are truly attracted to soul and you are also repelled by energy accordingly. What this means is that you really defy people's idea of what a feminine is attracted to or repelled away from. When you are attracted to someone romantically or even when you want someone in your life platonically, I feel that you make those decisions or you feel that pull or repulsion entirely because of the energy between the two of you. So for some divine feminines listening, I'm picking up that you may not really have a set type when it comes to love or romance, meaning you might not have a type physically, appearance-wise. The people that you've been attracted to in the past may all have very different physical traits or characteristics, but you have a type energetically, meaning there's a certain type of energy about a masculine that will pull you in, and specifically, Whenever you feel this sense of attraction to a particular masculine, regardless of his physical appearance, very often this is your intuition telling you that your souls have unfinished business, have a message to deliver to each other, or that you are connected in some type of spiritual way. I'm kind of comically getting from someone's guides that, and this feels very specific, but for someone, your friends or family might tease you about the fact that you can be attracted to the most random masculine energies in your life, or maybe you you seem to not be attracted to people that traditionally you society would tell you to be attracted to, but then randomly someone will come out of nowhere and you'll just be magnetically drawn to them, pulled to them. And your friends and family may not even really understand at times what you are seeing in some of these people or energies, but what they don't realize is that you're feeling attracted to others based on something that's actually happening on a soul level. And because you're someone that's highly awakened, very much in tune with the energy energetic realm, you are highly aware of when there is some type of energetic chemistry, let's call it, between you and another soul, particularly when this happens in a romantic context. But I'm also picking up that 
when someone that you feel this attraction to at a soul level is not revealing to you that true soul self when you're feeling the soul connection when you're sensing who they are at a soul level but they are trying to keep things at a superficial level. They are trying to only show you certain parts and aspects of themselves. They may be trying to hold back who they really are at a deeper soul level. You will find that very repulsive. It's like it almost becomes very unattractive to you. So that even if you have a soul connection with someone, over time, if they are refusing to really be open about who they are at a deeper level, you will actually feel a loss of attraction to them you'll feel almost a boredom or disinterest not that you're bored in them as a person but you're bored by the dynamic of them not having the courage to be authentically themselves to reveal who they really are at a soul level because the thing about you divine feminine is you are so highly intuitive that you are actually seeing others platonically and romantically more for their energy more for their soul self than for their human self than for what they are presenting physically so when someone is trying to present something to you physically that is very out of alignment with who they really are at a deeper level you're able to sense it and pick up on it and it is very repulsive to you you might even get this feeling of repulsion when you are let's say watching a certain television program and perhaps it's some kind of reality show or something and you can just sense that the person speaking is not being honest about who they really are and again, you can apply this to so many different scenarios, but whenever you can sense a dissonance between what someone's soul is emanating energetically and who they are presenting physically, it makes you very physically uncomfortable, like not even just emotionally uncomfortable. It might even cause you to feel physically uncomfortable being around that person. This physical discomfort could manifest in a myriad of ways, but for example, you you might become very sick to the stomach around this person you might feel very tired by their energy which by the way your guides are saying that if you feel tired around them energetically it's because you're tired because you are working overtime subconsciously trying to connect the dots between how this person is speaking how they are presenting themselves and who they really are at a deeper level and there's such a disconnect there that it's almost like your mind is going haywire your subconscious is going haywire trying to figure out who who this person really is because what they are presenting is so different from who they really are spiritually and that can actually cause you to feel drained around the person you also might get headaches around them you may just again feel like you don't want to be around them and you can't really understand why now of course i am not a medical professional so i always have to say to always explore any physical symptoms or sensations with a doctor first but i do feel that there can just be an energy around people that you connect with that you talk with who are very much lacking self-awareness very much in dissonance when it comes to what they are presenting and who they really are and when there's that dissonance present regardless of that underlying soul connection between the two of you you can feel a sense of repulsion from these individuals and i feel this is coming up in today's reading because this may be the exact dynamic taking place at the moment for a divine feminine with a particular masculine in your life this is someone who is still seeing the world through a very conditional lens because we have the card i love you unconditionally but it's in the reverse position i feel like this person carries a lot of self-judgment that they do a good job hiding so they are really judging themselves for certain things aspects of themselves or their life and because of these patterns of self-judgment they are actually restricting the flow of unconditional love within their being and as a result this is causing them to have a very conditionally loving perspective externally as well meaning they still carry a lot of judgment within their being 
projected outwards because that judgment is projected inwards, if that makes sense. As the great saying goes, as within, so without. So when this masculine is holding this judgment for themselves, they are actually incidentally projecting that out in judgment towards other people. And I feel like this is presenting preventing them from fully presenting their true authentic self to the world because of these self-judgments but specifically to you divine feminine i feel as though this masculine is afraid that you would judge them if you saw their true true nature their true self in the way that they judge themselves but the ironic thing is here you already know those things about them intuitively, subconsciously. You already sense and accept and love the parts of them that they are afraid to show you. However, the fact that they are being in dissonance with themselves, that they are hiding some of these things, is causing you to very quickly lose interest or lose a feeling of attraction towards this person. Yeah, with the Fool card in the upright position... I feel like the masculine here is coming up as the fool in the sense that his guides are really pushing him to overcome his fears of being seen, to allow himself to be fully vulnerable with you so that you will no longer be feeling this dissonance between who he really is spiritually and what he's presenting. And then the connection between the two of you could progress. But I see that this is something that has to be overcome within him first. This feels like a sacral chakra blockage here preventing true openness true intimacy and emotional vulnerability i feel like you divine feminine may have tried to deepen the emotional intimacy here and it's almost like a wall may have come up with this masculine or whenever things start to get really real or the conversation starts to get really deep he might cut it off or kind of go back or start backpedaling a little bit and i feel that you have been patient divine feminine with this dynamic but you're really beginning to get bored of it it's beginning to cause you to lose a little bit of interest in pursuing this situation or attraction to this divine masculine or masculine depending on whether this is a twin flame divine counterpart situation now here we have the judgment card so i feel like this whole dynamic is ultimately pushing the masculine here to face his true spiritual self I keep seeing him looking in a mirror and really seeing himself. So either this is a twin flame situation, in which case you and this masculine share an identical core soul frequency. Therefore, being in your presence for him is energetically and spiritually like looking in a mirror. It is like seeing his true self reflected back, which is leading to this deep inevitable self-analysis and a deepening of self-awareness and ultimately pushing him actually into total self-integration, self-acceptance, releasing those patterns of self-judgment we mentioned earlier and allowing unconditional love to flow freely through him, which would pave the way for a potential harmonious union between the two of you. But I do see with the three of wands upright that the masculine here has choices. I feel him like weighing options almost as to whether he is going to go down the rabbit hole here, whether he is going to fully go down this path of self-discovery, of spiritual awakening, or whether he's going to choose a more unconscious life. And I almost feel as though you, Divine Feminine, have entered this masculine's life to push him to that decision tree, to give him the option, the opportunity of choosing to live a more highly conscious physical existence here in this incarnation but he is going to have to be the one to make the choice here so it's almost like the masculine here has to decide whether he's going to keep things very on the surface whether he is going to live in relative unconsciousness or whether he is going to go down this rabbit hole with you energetically spiritually emotionally and break himself open to both the depths and the heights of feeling and of his own self of his own nature because i feel like connecting with you has caused this masculine to feel more heights of emotion than he ever imagined possible like i see him feeling 
It's like ecstasy to him being around you. It's literally something he has never experienced before. I'm hearing him say not even close. Like I've not even experienced anything close to what I feel when I'm with you. So the other side of that coin is if he is going to pursue this connection and experience those highs of what he has felt with you spiritually, emotionally, physically, he's also got to be willing to break himself open to the depths as well, to be broken open by this energy, to go down into those patterns of fear, of self-judgment. I feel like there's a strong fear of rejection here as well. And to heal all of that from the inside out. And of course, this is no easy path. This is very challenging spiritual work, but I feel that he is up for the task, which is why you divine feminine have come into his life to spiritually awaken him and give him this option. Now, of course, many souls presented with this kind of option will still opt for an easier soul path. And there are no right or wrong choices here. However, there are choices that are more exponentially expansive to the soul in an incarnation. And I feel like to go forward together would be exponentially expansive to both of your souls and yourselves spiritually emotionally and really in every sense imaginable this feels like the type of connection that really exists at all levels and layers i feel that this masculine is being pushed to say yes to you divine feminine to this grand adventure of your unfolding connection because he's sensing that if he doesn't say yes to it he is going to regret that choice forever that to some degree even if he does move on and date other people you would always be the one who is holding his heart here with the woman holding a heart in the upright position so how else is the masculine feeling here i feel like just being connected to you is really quickly healing a deep heartbreak for this masculine with broken heart reversed prior to meeting you there may have been a karmic feminine in this masculine's life or from his past that he was still somewhat in pain about or heartbroken over or there was some kind of detrimental emotional connection here but i see that even just connecting with your energy completely burned away that karmic feminine bond it's like it no longer existed to him because you've shown him his ability to love even more deeply and more profoundly and more quickly in terms of physical 3D time than he ever would have imagined possible. But again, there's that energy of this being both exhilarating and terrifying to him simultaneously. And yet ultimately, I have to say I'm really feeling most likely the outcome here is that he is going to continue opening his heart to this self-discovery, to this spiritual awakening happening through your connection. With man holding a heart upright, I do feel this masculine will choose to continue coming towards you and will make that decision with indecision in the reverse position. So... What else can I channel about this situation? Let's pull an emotion card. Yeah, we have success. This feels like a really strong indicator of what the masculine here is going to choose, that he is going to choose to move forward with you and with this connection as scared as I feel that he is. But I also know that whenever you are aligning with this reading, it's very likely that at this moment in time, things still feel very unknown. There might be some feelings of fear or insecurity coming up within you or again maybe just disinterest you're beginning to wonder will this person be able to match my energy and i'm hearing your guide say if you are in that position to remain in your power and continue to allow this masculine to show you his true colors gradually over the course of time to allow him to make his own decision here and to show you what he's decided through his actions and not through words or through conversation yeah with chemistry in the upright position 
I feel that the reason the masculine is almost inevitably being pushed to say yes to your connection is because he's feeling magnetically drawn to you in a really irresistible kind of way. We also have deception reversed. So if you've been sensing that this masculine has been holding something back and it's been off-putting to you, even if you qu can't quite explain what you feel is being held back, know that I feel some truth is going to come to light. I feel like he's going to come forward and go that deeper level, express something raw, something real, something that really rings true to you here at a deeper level. And you are going to feel that reignition of your interest and feeling of pull towards him as that truth is uncovered and you see that he is developing that deepening self-awareness that we were talking about earlier. So I know this is a bit of an interesting reading today. I feel that many of my readings recently have been meant for very specific people or groups of people. So please only take what connects. I am going to pull one final closing card from the Rumi Oracle, but first, if anything connected from the reading, I would love to hear from you in the comments under the video. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Magnetize Yourself. And if you're interested, I have a brand new app available in both app stores. This is my subliminal meditation app. And if you sign up now for the app, you will be getting an extended free trial period before the payment system, the subscription system is integrated. So I do recommend testing the app now if you feel guided to do so. And the link to that is in the pinned comment and description box. You can also search for the app in app stores by searching sound and soulful. By the way, thank you so much to all of you who have been leaving positive reviews for the app in the app store. I do read all of these reviews and I am so grateful to each and every one of you for your support. So the final cards to come out here are arise and beyond the threshold of fear. How fitting because I feel the masculine here is being pushed past the threshold of his own fear and also being pushed to rise up to the challenge here. So I'm just going to read a final guidebook message. Enter the lion's jungle. Don't think about getting hurt. Fearful thoughts are phantoms of the mind. No one is harmed in this jungle. Everything is compassion and love. It is your fear holding you back like a bar behind the door. Rumi. And the guidebook also says, After so long, you are changing your relationship to fear. No more shall it hold you in its thrall. You are becoming able to observe it, to witness it, even to have compassion rather than resistance. Instead of unconsciously sabotaging your growth and choosing to slumber in darkness, you awaken and delight in the light and sound of your own divine being. You have broken through a barrier, a self-imposed barrier of fear that held you back from taking the steps you are now taking or about to take. So that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading. I am sending you all so much love today, wishing you a beautiful remainder of your day. Take care and I will connect with you here again in the next video.